What is up everybody? Long time no see. I've been on a bit of a vacation so I haven't been able to upload anything recently but uh, I did happen to come across this. So I finally got my box of Dark Order. Um, now this actually came out like a month ago and I just could not get my hands on a box. Um, I was very happy to get it but I'm also kind of sad because uh, the GX Ultra Shiny comes out tomorrow and uh, I'm most likely not going to be able to get any um, because I work 9 to 5 and uh, everywhere I went today they were like we start to sell it from 8 o'clock in the morning tomorrow and I won't be able to go because I've got to go to work so I won't be able to get there in time and I just know that it will be sold out by the end of the day so this is kind of like my commiserations we got the Dark Order finally so I'm going to open this one up see how we go I really really hope that um, they've just like really overproduced the Ultra Shiny and that I can actually get my hands on a couple of boxes because I haven't looked forward to something as much as that as when uh, since uh, what was it uh, Shining Legends came out so I'm really super excited about this set but I'm also kind of annoyed because I feel like probably pretty high chance I'm not going to get any of it so um, I mean eventually I'm sure we can get some but um, it just seems like it's probably not going to happen so anyway commiseration prize to open this so these are my first packs of this Dark Order looks very cool very excited to see what we pull out of this but yeah this set everybody uh, like it was very popular when it came out but everyone is is wanting the uh, the ultra shiny that's the one you want and I don't even um, I almost forgot how to open these packs so <laughs> it's been a long time so we're kind of back into it a little bit but um, yeah we'll see how we go oh that's actually good this Jirachi is actually uh, worth a few bucks so we might even uh, sleeve that bad boy up so very very nice looking I do like that what does that say you can search for a, the top five cards of your deck for a, a trainer card and then put it into your hand and then this goes to sleep so that's pretty useful I assume that's um, if it's just in your no it must have to be active I guess but still pretty good I know that people must be playing it because it's worth a few bucks um, but seems like every card is worth a bit at the moment just because you just can't get them anywhere and when I, when I got this I just went to a shop and they were just like yeah we got boxes and I was like oh well just hook me up then because <laughs> when this came out I just couldn't get anything and this actually I actually got this box like a week ago and I just haven't had a chance to open it because I've been like traveling around to the backwoods of Japan it's been very interesting but um yeah, oh jeez, look at that thing. Um, but, uh, what is that? Dangerous Drill. Interesting. What does it say? This card, you can put a dark Pokemon from your hand into the trash. And then, what is it? Oh gosh, there's a lot of writing on there. I have to investigate that later. Um, but yeah, I have just been sitting on this, so it's really annoying because now there's a new set coming out tomorrow. Ooh, all right, we got the Black Market. The Black Market Stadium card. This is actually pretty good. Um, what does it say? Um, I have to check what that does. What does it do? Ah, oh, I can't remember. Sorry, I've been out of it for ages. I haven't... Uh, <laughs> I haven't actually remembered what all cards do, but I know that that one's pretty good. I think that the one, is that the one that you want to get? I can't remember what the other Prism Star is. Um, so yeah, that's um, still a good one to get though. Oh, don't tell me, I think this is already our uh, secret rare. I can see something textured. Ooh, I like it. Well, <laughs> We got our two one-off cards out of the box already. 
Um, which is kind of annoying because we still got like, that was only like the, what, the fourth pack? Anyway, it's a cool looking one. We got the Hooper GX Full Art. I do like that. That is very cool. I'm going to have to uh, see if I can get a few more cards out of the set, but that is a that is a reasonable one to get. It looks really, really awesome. So happy with that. Kind of makes the rest of the box not so exciting, but I have never opened this before, so we will uh, see what else we can get. I'll try and just kind of pick up the pace. We got Mikan, so she's a she's an orange. Very nice. I'm going to separate all the trainers as I do, just because. Some of them can be worth quite a bit of money, so... Man, we're just getting all the hollows and stuff straight away. We've got Tyranitar. Pretty sure there was a Tyranitar hollow in, um... And there was a GX recently as well, but there was a hollow in, um... What set was it? Uh, the one that had all the reprints in it, what was it called? Uh... Champion Road. Yeah, so... Ooh, Metal Goggles. So there's, um... There's been a ton of Tyranitar action recently, which is pretty cool. Alright, so we didn't get a holo. That's like one of the first packs we haven't got something. So yeah, that's weird. I never, not never, I don't want to say never, but you don't often get the, uh, the secret rare like so close to the start. That kind of sucks just because kind of doesn't make the rest boring because I've never opened this, but it, it makes it... Uh, Less exciting when you have already seen it like so early. But we've still got uh, some GXs to get, so that's good. I haven't got anything out of this set, so whatever we get will be nice. I think the old uh, Amphorus, is, Amphorus is pretty good. I think that's probably one of the ones that you definitely want to get. So we'll see if we can pull him, that would be cool. Hey, we got a Cobalion. This is not the one you want to get. I was um, having a look. This one is... Oh, these sleeves are too big. This one is definitely the uh, the cheapest one. So at least we didn't get the full art of that. That makes me happy. The Hooper is pretty good. I'll take that. So I think that... Yeah, I don't really know what's the best thing to get out of this set. I don't think it's like a super valuable set, but it's just the newest one until tomorrow at least, and it um, has some cool stuff in it and it's been hard to get, so there still might be some like reasonably valuable stuff. Ooh, nice. Ah, oh, what does he do? You can get one dark type Pokemon out of your trash. I think that's what it says. Oh man, I'm so bad. I need to, <laughs> I need to actually like, bone up on the sets before I start opening them because yeah I'm just like I said I've been on holiday and stuff and I've just I haven't opened any of this so I haven't really um looked super closely like at what you can get in here and I'm like super out of the loop on what's good in this set I'm really just oh we got Absol that's cool I'm really just focused on the old uh, ultra shiny that comes out tomorrow and I just if I can't get any boxes, I'm going to be super, super sad because the cards look so good. Oh, they look good. I really, really, really want to get uh, at least a couple of boxes, at least. So I just don't know if I'm going to be able to. I'm going to try my best tomorrow. I'm going to be traveling all around the place, seeing what I can get. And hopefully, hopefully, hopefully we have no problems in, uh, in picking some up, but just on recent form and uh, the fact that there was no pre-orders or anything anywhere, I don't like my chances, but we'll see. You never know, we might be able to luck into a couple. We'll see what, what we can do. We got another Mikan. I don't know what her English name is. Mikan means like Mandarin. So I assume that's not her English name. Could be, you never know. Anyway, let's crack on. We still got half to go. So, I'm just pushing through. Hey, we got Zoroark. That's pretty good. That artwork is really cool, actually. Got all dark type so far for our hollows, which is not surprising, I suppose, considering the set is called Dark Order. But there is, you know, obviously some other stuff in there as well. 
Alright, let's have a look. Still only seen one GX, so we should be getting at least two more. But we've already got our Prism and we've already got our Super A in like the first three packs. Which kind of, uh, yeah, kind of annoying. <laughs> but anyway, that is just what happens sometimes. So this will be halfway. Alright, what are we talking here? Oh, I can see something shiny. Could just be a hollow. Let's see. It is. It's the old Age of Slash hollow. So that's metal type. So that's our first. Oh, no, no. What am I talking about? The Jirachi's right there. Ha, ha, ha. Uh, I told you it's been a while since I've made any videos. I don't know what's going on. But anyway, hopefully, hopefully we can do all right out of this box and uh, kind of make up for the absence and hopefully like once this new set comes out the drought will just end because like this will be is ridiculously in demand it's ridiculously popular it hasn't even come out yet so they definitely would be wise to just print a ton of it because if they don't like I don't understand the, the marketing strategy because so many people want to buy it um got another Toronto yeah so if they don't print like a t absolute ton of it I really don't know what they're thinking because it will sell whatever they produce it will sell but I don't know I don't know the what they're thinking these days because they just really seem like they don't want to sell uh, millions and millions of packs which they would be able to do very very easily still only seen one GX I have a feeling this next pack will have one though just because it has been a while I Got a feeling that this might be the one. Let's go. I see something shiny at the back. I reckon it's gonna be a GX. Watch it. Hey, no, it's Absol. <laughs> uh, I don't know how many hollows are in this set. It's only small. It says 52 cards. So it's a small set, but um, we're already getting a bunch of doubles. Hopefully we get two Jirachis because I know that one is is worth having. Alright, we got another Mandarin. Why are we getting so many of her? Oop, jeez. Yep, nothing in there. Jeez, this is a interesting box. There's like been a big gap between the pools. We've uh, not had them very well spaced out at all, but I guess we should still at least get a couple more. Let's see. This one might be one. I can see something shiny. It is, and it's an Ampharos. That's the one we want. And that looks really cool. Hold on, let me get a sleeve. This bad boy. All these sleeves are too big. Where do these sleeves come from? Why are they so big? Anyway, look at that artwork. It's like a city in the background. He's just apparently flying through the air. I don't really know. I think this is the one you want to get. This seems to be the one that's uh, the most expensive. Although, actually, the um, Incineroar and the Hooper are reasonably expensive as well. So, if we can get uh, one of those two as well. I mean, we have the Full Art Hooper already, but they seem to be pretty good as well. So, I think uh, whichever one of them we get, we'll be happy. Unfortunately, we did get the... Uh, the very cheap one, the Cobalium, but that's okay. We will add them to the collection because I don't have one yet. I don't have any of these cards. Well, I, I should say I didn't have any of these cards um, until now. So maybe we'll be lucky with this box and we'll get four GXs, but um, just based on the number of packs left, probably not. But you never know, we'll see. There's something shiny in this one as well. It's a Yvelto. Oh, we didn't see you yet. Nice. Alright, so I think we've well and truly collected all the hollows out of this set. The fact that we're getting like multiple doubles makes me think that <clears throat> there is not very many. Um, and just, yeah, it's, like I said, it's a very small set. 52 cards. Still probably like at least 20, 20 secret rares as they seem to have. The crazy thing is the, uh, the new set is going to have 90 secret rares and 
I'm gonna see if I can like find any videos tonight of people like opening early boxes, but I, I'm hazarding a guess that the regular shinies that are non-GXs might be one a pack. There's 10 packs in a box, so you might get one of them a pack. Just because the fact that there's 90, like there's no way you could ever collect that if they were all one a box. That's just ridiculous. And then I think you'll get like one, um, what we would call a normal secret rare in a box, but nobody really seems to know at the moment. So I have to see someone cracking a box and see what they actually get. I was kind of hoping that would be me and I would be able to get one early today, but I was not able to. So alas, I will not be the one who's like, uh, getting to discover that first because, uh, the place where I get them from early, sometimes I couldn't get it. So I don't even know if I'm going to be able to get it now. So yeah, it's really, really frustrating. Oh, we got Zapdos. I didn't know you were in this set. That's pretty cool. Nice. So if he comes into the active position, it does 10 plus 70 for only one energy. That's not bad at all, I suppose, really. The electric type has still got that problem with the, the fighting weakness, although the uh, Ampharos has the metal weakness, so that's not so bad. Don't know how many people are still playing like Metagross and stuff, but I guess enough that you could still have a problem, but still probably a lot more people playing fighting. <sighs> we, <laughs> we have three packs left. We're gonna get a GX in one of these packs, surely. So we'll see. I don't think we're gonna get two more. That would be ridiculous. So it would have been nice if this was the super air. Like a lot of those dangerous drills. Hey, we got a Hooper. Wow, that's really cool as well. Actually, the artworks in this set on these GXs are really nice. I'm digging that though. That's cool. And I think this is a proper fitting sleeve. There we go. That actually fits in there. Yeah, look at that. That's really cool. I really dig that. So we got the full art and we got the uh, the regular one. Two more packs, probably not much else too exciting gonna come out, but you never know, we'll see. All right, what are we talking? I reckon we might get another hollow, maybe but I don't think we are going to get another GX. All right, last pack. What are we talking here? Let's go. Show me the, uh, yeah, I want, I want that Incineroar now. Is it going to be him though? Oh, it's something shiny. I think it's going to be a hollow though. I think it's just going to be a hollow. Oh, but it's the one we want. It's a Jirachi. That is good. That is nice. All right. That makes me happy for the last pack. Let's see if we can sleeve this bad boy up. There we go. Mm, not too bad, not too bad. So uh, we got all our hollows, but we got two of the good ones. So that's, that's what we want to see. That is very nice. Got our, our black market, that was good. I'm pretty happy with that. I think that's pretty successful really. So. Lots of hollows as always. One, two, three, four, five. We got the Zoroark, that's cool. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We got ten hollows. Got our black market uh, prism card. Got the Cobalion GX. We got the Ampharos GX. We got the Hooper GX. And we got the very nice Hooper GX full art, which I think looks pretty cool. So not too bad at all. I call that pretty successful. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. So anyway, let me know what you think guys. Uh, what are you looking forward to in uh, the GX Ultra Shiny? That's what I really wish I was opening right now. Uh, but hopefully, hopefully tomorrow we will have something for you, but I'll, I'll, I'll see how I go. If you don't see a new video tomorrow, it probably means that I'm just like really sad because I didn't get anything. But anyway, uh, that's it for now. Uh, check out the channel for more videos, guys. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And we will see you in the next one. Take it easy.